Today we're going to have the first annual burger cook-off. I'll be making tofu burgers. And the traditional ground traditional, beef. No, no, no. Tofu is traditional. Tofu is traditional? We're in China. Cho Did you know tofu has been in China for over 2,000 years? Holy cow. Right. But what we have here is traditionally made tofu. Old school. Old school tofu. Whereas in Kai Fai Chu, have you been to Green Door and you see where they make the tofu? Oh, the, yeah. They have the machinery and all that stainless yeah. steel stuff. Done. Would be made the old traditional way where you have wooden crates with lots of holes in it. And you separate the curds in the way, you pour it in there and the curds go through it. Through. I mean the way it goes through and the curd stays. And then they just press it down. And I think it's all made in wooden slats because I've seen them bring it out in wood. So, and with tofu, the important thing is, is to always have it in water and change the water every day. And or it will go off. Huh. And then to this tofu, I would say, I won't trust over three days. Yeah. And um, if you buy a vacuum pack, once you take it out, maybe five days. But you always change the water. Yeah. Can you tell us where the hamburger comes from? The hamburger came from this part of the cow. <laughs> the rump roast. And what did the cow have to say? He was very happy. So I take about half this tofu, and this much tofu here cost today 40 kwai. Four kwai, yeah. Oh, 40 would be a lot, which is about 70 cents. And I used to make tofu in Adelaide, South Australia. I start off with mashing it. The quick thing about tofu, there's different textures of tofu. There's firm tofu and soft tofu. This is good for Burgers, firm tofu. Soft tofu is good for like if you're making tofu cheesecakes. Tofu is made from soybeans, and what you do is from you, the rump of the soybeans. From the rump of the soybean. The way you make tofu is you soak them overnight. The way I used to make it, you soak them overnight with water running all the time. And I used to do 50 kilo bags in, in a 100 gallon tub. I put my 50 gallon, my 50 kilos of beans in there and let the water run all night. Then go home. And the next day I would take them all out, drain them out. And I had a 100 gallon cooker, and I'd put all the beans in there, and throw it full of water, bring it to a boil for about 10 minutes. And while they soaked overnight, they would go two and a half times their size. And there's over 200 different types of soybeans. And there's only some soybeans that are really good for tofu. A lot of them are good for feeding cows. Did you know, I, I got some statistics about how much it costs to feed a cow oh, yeah. to feed the world. This comes out straight from factual cookbook that I wrote, Tofu Cookery. <laughs> so I've got my ground beef and uh, in the suitcase on this trip back to the States, we loaded up with our Lowry's seasoning salt uh, my dad used to use Lowry's on just about everything, and uh, so we we uh, mixed in some Lowry's and some pepper about an hour, hour and a half ago, and just set it in the fridge to uh, get the flavoring throughout the mixture, and. Uh, Make a nice bun size patty. It takes a certain amount of tofu or soybeans to raise a certain amount of cows. Something like 10 times the amount of um, soybeans go to cows that could be used just to make soybean products, oh, such as tofu. Absolutely. Last year, when uh, we had the water uh, mm. organization here for Earth Day, Thirst. They had all kinds of interesting little posters throughout the school and it took like 500 gallons of water to raise uh, uh, for a kilo of meat. For a kilo of meat. Yeah, some insane amount of water. So it does make sense to eat a little bit lower down on the food chain. So I just added some brown rice, which I pre cooked, because if you put it in here, not cooked yet. Makes a tofu burger taste a little fuzzy. So, here's brown rice, and I got some beans, black beans, 
from Lena. Thank you. Gave me fresh beans because her husband's a, a trader in beans or something like that. Beans. And so I soaked these overnight and cooked them up. So I'm going to mash them up. And it's kind of important with your beans that you cook them to the point where they're soft. Because the last batch I made of burgers, they were they were okay, but the beans weren't. We're still kind of hard on them. Yes. While he's getting that going here, we've got some sautéed onions that we will uh, put on top of our burgers. And I've got fresh onions and fresh tomatoes as well, but a sautéed onion adds a little extra zing of flavor. Put some mushrooms in it too. I mean, the thing with tofu burger is basically you just put anything you want in it. Like veggies, like we have some. Honey, where's the carrots? Uh oh. The grated carrots. Yeah. Right here? Okay, we already have great. I use carrots a lot. I think they did come out the nicest in here. That might be a little you bit too much. You just do that on the cheese shredder? You just shred them? Yep. Yeah. So do you, can you mix, you can mix things in that, right? I mean, put oh, yeah. different vegetables in there. Oh, yeah. And the, what, we need something to hold this together. And usually you can use breadcrumbs or flour, whole wheat flour. I just have white flour, but vegetable mix in it. But it's the flour that holds it together. So was okay? that a two tablespoons or oh, that's a three thing. I, I don't measure. That's I, a, I was gonna say I haven't seen the, the no. measuring I, I don't, spoons or the measuring I've cup. I never. I don't measure anything. <laughs> Tofu cheesecakes, you know, nothing ever tastes the same twice. And, and so even when I used to manufacture my things commercially, people would say, "Well, they didn't taste like last week." And I had this. I was just saying earlier. <laughs> I think I had a forty-gallon mixer, and I'd throw my tofu in there. And I had these big bags of spices and I'd throw them in. And, and sometimes it'd be different herbs, or if you're an American, you'd say herbs. I'm going to throw herb in there and you look for oh, herb. But herbs, because it starts with an H or an H. In Australia, they say H, a lot of people do. They, you don't need that. I mean, I get recipes in here called like tofu terry. This is actually called Move Over Big Mac. Here comes a tofu burger. Oh. So this is kind of a nice, you know, it's kind of held together. So, you know, it's in, and what happened one time, I was going to make tofu burgers like really large scale because I like to do things large scale. And so I, I went to Germany actually and I, to get some equipment and I bought this burger maker, paid 3,000 bucks for it in Dusseldorf back in 1981. Holy and I brought it back to Australia, or I sent back to Australia, and I made my big 40-gallon mixture of tofu and everything, and I was really excited. I had my whole thing lined up. I was going to start making them, you know, 100 burgers every five minutes. I was going to ship them all over and become very wealthy. And uh, I put my burger mixture in there, and it just stopped off the whole machine. Oh! Because, you know, like me, it has fat and, and, and cries of animal ancestors in it and stuff like that. That, that make things go forward. Lubrication. Lubrication. Yeah. If they're too dry, they'll just fall apart. You have the right button, right? Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's recording now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you can hear the sizzling of the, the burgers in the background. It's fine for flaxseed in it. You got some flaxseed in it? Very true. Okay, well, that makes this a good idea. I don't want you to be concerned. All right. With Democratic Eater. That's right. All right. Want some onion? Joaquin, that's yours. Good to go. Um, Bun? Fantastic. Come on, you gotta eat. Mm -hmm. Come here, come here, not eat. Somebody sitting in his chair here? No, I'm just sitting on him. There we go. Super burger. Super tofu burger. At the end of the day? This is delicious, just burger.